Mr. Speaker, this government throws out a whack of options to companies on greenhouse gas intensity emissions, allowing companies four measurements and five calculation methods. But in the end, the government doesn't know what was measured, how it was measured, or how it was verified. So bottom line, Albertans don't have an accurate picture of whether emissions are getting lower, and there is a total, but we don't know if it's accurate. So to the Minister of the Environment, on what information is the Ministry basing its assertion that this program is working? The Honourable Minister of the Environment and Water. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the member for the question. Well, first of all, I'd like to say that we support the Auditor General and the help he is giving us to help fine-tune our system. It is a good system, but it's one that we still need, uh, and it's still new, and it's one that we still need to uh, uh, refine, and we're committed to constant improvement with that. We've worked with the Auditor General to identify some of those gaps, and we are happy that uh, his team was able to work with us and will work on continuous improvements in these areas. The Honourable Member. Goodness gracious, that was a lot of talk and no information. Okay, back to the same minister. So how does the government know if Albertans are getting value for this program? The Honourable Minister. Short request. Well, we are certainly, there's a number of ways that we're getting value for the program, and with regards to some of the issues that the honest, on, Honourable Member has mentioned and that the Auditor General has mentioned, is with regards to the review of the protocols that we have. We ensure that protocols are reviewed with regards to tillage protocols and the issues that the Auditor General has raised with regards to that. Uh, protocols will be updated by the end of this year to, re, re, um, to address those issues as well. The Honourable Member. Oh boy. Uh, back to the same uh, minister. Um, will this minister continue to employ the strategy of confusion and conflicting instructions, which makes it impossible for anyone to, one, comply, and two, to confirm the results? Is any of that going to change? The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. What we'll continue to do is to make this system that is world-leading um, a system in North America, we will continue to have refine it and make it uh, a better system as we go on. When you look in North America, there are not places that are doing the kind of work that we are doing with reducing greenhouse gas emissions and addressing the issues, issues that we are doing. And through the protocols and the review of the protocols and working with the Auditor General, that we will continue to have uh, continuous improvement. There was a couple of, um, uh, several uh, protocols calls and only a couple of them didn't pass the audits reports because the audible